Have you ever considered using MIDI guitar for something? If you have, you probably thought of stuff like having a synth pad behind your acoustic guitar. playing a, a bass with your guitar or something like this. But have you ever considered using your guitar as an MPE controller? talking about your guitar now. A guitar like this, or like this, or like this, or even like this. I'm not talking about when you buy into some special hardware for the purpose of playing MIDI or MP and you buy into that universe and with all the pitfalls and, and downsides that that have and you have to accept that because you just want to play this other stuff. I'm talking about actually using the instrument that you're most familiar with and actually want to use, your guitar. In any case, you have a choice to make. Either you go the hardware route or you go the software route. But the division into a hardware and software solution isn't 100% clear because there are different ways of generating MIDI. One is directly generating MIDI by acknowledging where you are on fretboard via, say, fret scanning or something like this. The other one is what I'm going to talk about in this video and it's mostly done by some sort of converting audio into MIDI. It's a pitch to MIDI solution in some way or another. The hardware route is probably more expensive in the end since you need to buy a dedicated pickup. You need perhaps to do some routing to fit that pickup to your guitar and in the end you also need to buy into this pedal system and perhaps uh, some cloud service to be able to choose new sounds for these boxes, if you're lucky. In the worst case scenario, you choose a system where you have a set number of sounds within a, a box and you can't change those even if you wanted to. Let's not forget to mention at least some of the non-pitch to MIDI solutions that are out there, like the Rob O'Reilly guitars, for instance. For me personally, it, has never been an option because of one, the price tag. Second, I've never got a chance to try them out. There aren't any in the country that I'm living in and I've never seen one live. So for those reasons alone, I'll be happy to just mention the alternative here. Going the software route is in no way free, of course, but at least you have the chance to try out the best sounding demos and best playing instruments beforehand, before you buy them. So you can pick and choose and you don't have to have 300 sounds that you never play because they're there. Of course, if you don't have a computer already and if you don't have an audio interface, those costs are also going into the equation. Another plus for the software solution is of course portability. You can get to your gig or your performance just with a computer and an audio interface, perhaps some pedals to control your patches. So the journey to embrace the software solution and in my personal case the Jam Origin MIDI guitar system uh, has gone over the Roland Hex pickup system and I've tried the uh, Fishman Triple Play as well and a couple of other systems but for different reasons they all fell short. And here you see my Parky guitar fitted with a Roland Hex pickup so that I could use any of those paddles, these uh, GP10s and GR33s and VG8s and whatever. This 13 pin system with these very fidgety cables that tended to break down and start crackle. With the Fishman Triple Play you, you had to have at least some USB dongle that it would connect to and it wouldn't always connect and you have this clumsy interface and I thought that perhaps also the MIDI translation was dynamically shallow to my taste. So those were my reasons to look for something else. 
And as I found the software solution in MIDI Guitar 2, I was immediately sold because one, I can definitely see myself as a guy coming with just my guitar and my computer and perhaps an audio interface to a gig to perform. And two, it allows for me to use stuff like wireless audio. So I can have this wireless connection that I was looking for with, say, the Fishman Triple Play, but without any of the problems. Personally, I have a wireless setup for audio and I have another wireless setup for MIDI. So I'm using a Bluetooth connection for wireless MIDI and I have some sort of Wi-Fi for the audio. If it's very much other stuff in use, I might have to go for a cable connection instead. But now it's 2024 and Jam Origin has come out with MIDI Guitar 3 and of all the additions to that software, I think that MPE is going to be the most important one but perhaps not for the reasons that you think. MP actually facilitates stuff like polyphonic bands, which is by far the most important aspect in terms of getting the guitar, the virtual guitar sounds right. <laughs> can be described as having a mod wheel and a pitch wheel for each note. We have three chains in MIDI Guitar 3. So you can have one chain with a legacy MIDI instrument and you can have another chain on the same patch but with an MPE instrument. And it's not like with the Rolly Seaboard, for instance, where you have to go in and change the settings on the actual Seaboard to be able to play these different kinds of instruments. In MIDI Guitar 3, you just connect your guitar to your interface, you connect your interface to your computer, and you play. All the settings are done on the individual instrument's modules in the chains, so you save these together with everything else in the chains, in the patches in MIDI Guitar 3. So the first clip you saw was the Ample Sound Upright Bass and I've modified it a bit so that it works as an MPE preset in MIDI Guitar now. I don't do that necessarily for all of my bass presets but when I'm doing solo stuff like this I find it very useful to have this polyphonic band so I can play chords and actually get these sort of imperfections into the playing. And for the other patch, I'm also using an Ample Sound bass. It's the John Paditucci bass, and it's not an MPE instrument in this case. I just want this nimble character that that particular bass has. And I'm combining that with UVI Digital Piano that I'm letting in with a pedal. Sometimes in the performance, it doubles whatever I'm playing, and as soon as I press the pedal, it sort of stops playing, and I'm soloing with the bass instead over that. Just to show you the versatility and flexibility with MIDI Guitar 3, I played here a patch with an ample sound Jacob Pastorius bass this time, but together with a breath controlled 
preset from Serum. In the second clip I'm playing two guitars, a jazz guitar from Straight Ahead into the Neural Deals piece Corey Wong Archetype and I'm also playing a, an acoustic guitar from a DU act and I'm playing it in this multi-format so that I get these polyphonic bends to use with the MPE capabilities from MIDI guitar. I'm playing rather sloppy here and that wouldn't work with the previous versions of this software. So this is a step forward in terms of us being able to play the way we actually play when we play guitar, which is, to be fair, rather sloppy most of the time. two different chains in one patch. I'm using face plant on both of these, but for one of these I'm using it as an MPE instrument and for the other one I'm using it as a MIDI 1.0 instrument. Another thing that's interesting in this clip is the use of the shredder perhaps. It's a MIDI machine and together with the looper, the sequencer and the arpeggiator, these are new additions to the MIDI machines coming with MIDI Guitar 3. Two other clips where I'm using some more distorted guitars, using first the shredder and after that I'm using the arpeggiator. <laughs> With these new MIDI machines, the looper and the shredder and arpeggiator and stuff, we need something like a button, a play transport button, a timeline for something, for synchronized starting and stuff like this. And this is the play button you see besides the patch name up top in the interface right now. This play button is not only for a synchronized start with, say, a drum machine and something you have on the sequencer. It also works as this timeline for some MIDI effects like Cable Guy's Shaper Box. Or Isotope's Stutter Edit, for instance. But if the bigger picture here is to compare the software version of MIDI Guitar 3 to say any hardware alternatives, perhaps pointing to the play function and the MIDI effects transport isn't really the best argument. But an argument that's really compelling I think is the infinite sustain that MIDI Guitar 3 has. It's a setting in a sustain pedal where you can strike a chord, let go of the guitar and the chord keeps ringing until you strike another chord or pick another note. You can of course use one note at a time as well and get this infinite sustain function. Another new feature that leads me to put MIDI guitar ahead of the competition in terms of being a gig rig or performance rack is actually the patch bay. The patch bay is the place to go to to connect any of your external controllers, be it a breath controller, an expression pedal or foot controller or whatever. And any of the instruments you have open, you're free to connect to any of the parameters inside these instruments. And once done with all the intricacies of setting up that particular patch, you just save that down and you'll save all the cables and all the settings for those particular expression controllers as well. And when you want to use this patch later on, you just open MIDI guitar, choose that patch and you're good to go. I'm going to take this outside and show you how that works in a real life situation. I have a external Bluetooth receiver connected to my computer. So this breath controller or this pedal, these are both going to connect to that. Controlling the expression in the viola, with the breath controller and I'm controlling the hold function in the atom synth with the pedal here.
I need to be able to switch presets. So I'm using the Bluetooth protocol from this expression panel to connect also a foot controller just to be able to go between uh, some presets. So it's still the Adams preset of course. Now it's another preset. CS80 together with a baritone sax. Uh, I have the CS80 on uh, a sustain pedal inside of MIDI guitar, so I have this infinite sustain function. It will play on until I play something else. I don't really need to press anything for it to keep sustaining like this software comes as standalone and as a plugin, and the plugin you use in your duo preference, Logic or Ableton or whatever. Both versions have the same uh, things in it. You have a looper inside, and you have the opportunity to retune on the fly for everything. Also, have a MIDI output so you can use MIDI guitar as standalone together with any other standalone instrument, or even send it to an external synth if you want that. By all means, you can send MPE to external MPE synths if you want that. There's really an endless amount of stuff you can use this for. And if you're the least interested in MIDI guitar to begin with, and you're torn between hardware or software, don't forget this software version. Try the demo out. It's free to try out. It's only available for Mac right now, but it will be for Windows as well. Try it with some of the free synths like uh, Surge XT, which is a brilliant synth which also has MP capabilities. You can try really intricate setups if you want to. Uh, I hope you get something out of it. I know that I have for years and with this, there's no going back for me. So see you later. Bye.